हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वेरियस मेथड्स ऑफ प्लेन टेबल सर्वे विल सी व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ प्लेन टेबल सर्वे इन जनरल देयर आर फोर मेथड्स ऑफ प्लेन टेबल सर्वे एंड एवरी मेथड इज सूटेबल फॉर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ वर्क्स द फोर मेथड्स आर रेडिएशन intersection traversy and resection we will see each method one by one now the first method is radiation as the name indicate we have to draw different rays towards the objects we have to draw on our sheet so in this method what we have to do first of all as you can see in the figure first of all we have to set up a instrument at nearly center of the plotted area the area we have to plot for example a b c d e are the five points we have to plot on sheet so we have to place your plane table nearly the center position after setting we have to do all the temporary adjustment after doing temporary adjustment now we have to do by using led we have to draw the rays before drawing rays what we have to do we have to plot point o or the center of it on your sheet by using what by using u frame so we have to u frame to plot the center of your point on ground to your sheet so now we get point o after point o now use your led bisect the ranging rod at each station and draw a ray towards it by using a sharp edge of led so now you have to keep your led coincide with the station point o and draw a ray towards each object after drawing rays the next method is we have to calculate the distance between station point and actual object on the ground so we have to find out distance oa suppose the distance oa on ground is 10 meter ob is 7 meter and so on so we have to calculate first the actual distance on ground after knowing the actual distance now we have to convert this distance into a scale and plot this rays all lines on your sheet for example we are using scale 1 is to 100 so converting this 10 cent then meter into 10 cm and this 7 meter into 7 cm by using scale we have to measure from o 10 cm on a ray drawn towards a and plot the point a likewise we have to plot all the five points after plotting just we have to join these points by using a Okay, the figure you will get on your sheet is the actual representation of the points on your ground. This method is generally suitable for a small works, and where the points and the station are accessible to calculate the horizontal distance, and where. we can command the whole survey from a single station in that situation we have to use radiation method after radiation method next is intersection method now where we use intersection method intersection method is used whenever there is an obstacle between your observation point and the details we have to plot for example there is a river or a culvert between two points from bank po we have to calculate the distance between point ab which are on opposite bank of your river so it is not possible to find out the actual distance between them without being present over there so in this case we have to use intersection method now how will you use first of all 
we have to establish two session points. Session point P and Q, which are accessible to each other. Calculate the distance between P and Q and convert it into scale. Say PQ equal to 10 meter. Convert into scale that will be 10 centimeter on your sheet. Now, first of all, set up your plane table over station P. Do all the temporary adjustment required by using U frame. Plot your P point on a sheet from E. Now, first we are do by saying the ranging rod at Q. By saying the ranging rod at Q and draw a ray towards Q. As we know the PQ distance is 10 meter and converting it, it will be 10 centimeter. Mark point Q on your sheet. So you will get a baseline PQ. After knowing line PQ, now from E by using alidate, by saying object at A and draw a ray towards it. From P by saying the object at B and draw a ray towards it. Now after this, we have got three lines from B, PQ, ray PA and ray PB. Now shift your instrument a station Q. As we already got station Q on your sheet, now we have to match the point on sheet and the point on ground by using U frame. That is known as centering. So we have to do proper centering. After centering, do all the temporary adjustment required. So now we are at Q. But as the rule says, we have to do orientation. So orientation can be done by using backsliding method or magnetic line method. Now, in this case, we have to use backsliding method. So from Q, align PQ, we are already drawn from P. So keep your alley rate parallel to line Q, P and bisect the ranging rod at P from Q. And rotate your plane table till the point P is exactly bisected from Q. Now your plane table is exact position at is occupied at station P. Now after this from Q bisect the ranging rod at A or the object at A by using your LED and draw a ray towards it. Did it bisect the already drawn ray from P? So it will bisect it at some point. That point will be my object A. From Q again bisect the object at B and draw a ray towards B till it bisect the already drawn line from P. That will be point B. Now join both these points. By joining this, we can calculate the actual distance between AB point as well as we can calculate the distance between PA point and distance between QB point. So without being in physical contact with the points, we can calculate the distance between them by using intersection method. This method is suitable whenever your objects are visible but cannot be changed because of any obstacle. Now the next method is traversing. In this traversing method, as you can see, we have to use all the points and we have to shape the station to all the points. So this method is usable whenever it is accessible to go to each point and do all the temporary adjustment. So whenever all the points are accessible, we can use traversing method and it is used for precise work because in this method, we can check our work on field only. So the very first step, we have to establish five points, then set up your instrument at first one that is at point A. On station A, we have to plot A point on your sheet by shifting it by using U frame. After knowing point E, you see in this figure, after knowing point A, now what we have to do? We have to draw a ray towards next point, which is B. So by using any rate, bisect the ranging rod at B and draw a ray towards it. Same, also draw a ray towards preceding point, 
which is point E. So from A we have to draw two rays to B and towards E. Now shift your instrument and place it over point B. As we know the distance between AB we can plot point B at station A only. Now shift your instrument at B. The B point is already drawn on shade. So we have to match the point on shade and the point on your ground. After proper orientation and all the temporary adjustments, now what we have to do? From B, bisect the ranging rod at C by using alidate and draw a ray towards it. Calculate the distance between B and C, convert it into scale and plot point C on drawing sheet. After doing this, now again you have to change the position of your plane tabling. Now you have to set up the plane table at point C. Plot your point C, match it with your ground by using U frame. Then do all the temporary adjustment, proper orientation is needed. After this, by using LED, by saying the ranging rod at D and draw array towards D. Calculate the distance on ground between CD points and convert it into scale and plot point B. After point B, now you have to shift our instrument to point D. Do proper centering, orientation, all the temporary adjustment. Now, from B, we have to draw a ray towards last point that is point E. When we draw a ray towards E, it will bisect the already drawn ray from A towards E. The bisection of this both the rays will give us station E. Or we can check it by calculating the direct distance between DE on ground and plotting accordingly. The both points should get match. We can also provide a check by bisecting the ranging rod at B from B. So likewise, we can provide a check lines in this traversing method. That's why in traversing method we get precise readings and plotting is done accurately. But it is suitable whenever all the points are accessible and we can actually set up our plane table at each station. Now, the next method is resection method. In the resection method, the main feature of this method is that the point plotted on the sheet is the station occupied by the table. Only one linear measurement is required as the intersection method of plane tabling. Likewise, in intersection method, we require only the distance of EQ line. Likewise, in the resection method also, we require only one linear measurement. So over here, as we can see, we have to know the distance of AB line. From P, take a common point P from which both the lines are visible or both the objects are visible. Set up your instrument over P. Then shift your point P from ground on your drawing sheet by using U frame. After this, we have to mark magnetic north or we can use backsetting method also. From P, by using alidate, draw a ray towards B station and from P, draw a ray towards A line. So P, A and P, B, we can plot by knowing the actual distance between line A, B. So actual distance between line AB can be calculated and converted into scale and by using the rays drawn from P to A and P to B, we can plot line AB on your drawing sheet. So there are total four methods of plane tabling and which can be used in various works. Thank you.